There's a reason storytelling has been around since the dawn of time. A good story can make us laugh, it can make us cry, and some even have the power to change our lives. At least, that's what the Atwood stories did for me. You've probably heard of the Lover's Quest series, written by the famous writing couple Robert and Lily Atwood. A series beloved by the world, as the Atwoods grew older, their fans awaited anxiously for the final book, but it never came. When the Atwoods passed, it seems their legacy did too. That is, until the legend of the lost Atwood book surfaced. As the tale goes, the Atwoods did write one final book and buried it, hoping one day the right person would solve their last great adventure and find the long lost Atwood book. I would give my left toe to meet him. Hmm. Lee Price, he's in town promoting his new movie, and he stopped in here yesterday. But guess who had the day off? Just my luck. You know, those flight risk movies used to be books. Were actually a lot more serious before Hollywood got to them. Probably had a lot more clothes in them, too. <laughs> <laughs> How's your little treasure hunt coming? I think you're onto something, but Gladys, she ain't buying it. What does she have against me? Says you get too many free refills. <laughs> well, it's not a hoax, Paul. Remember how I told you that my dad found that missing cipher in the books? Mm -hmm. Well, when you use it, it spells out. And I thought it was just talking about the kind of bird or something, right? But then, the Atwoods named their house the Sandpiper. The trail for the missing book begins there, in Arcanium. Fab, so when are we going? Oof. Free refills it is. Jeffrey, did you read that new vampire YA I sent you? It's got quite the bite. Becca, you remember Rita Daly from Bridge Lane Publishing? Becca is one of our most savvy junior editors. You need a good book, she knows how to find it. Always a pleasure stopping by Granton. Such a homey feel. That's what our writers love about it. They always feel at home. Well, Rita, thanks for stopping by. I will relay your offer to the board. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Offer? What offer? Vampires, huh? <laughs> I guess they really won't die. Jeffrey, you're stalling. Yeah. Rita stopped by because Bridge Lane made an offer to buy Grant. It's a number the board can't refuse. The board wants to sell? But Grant's one of the oldest publishing houses. Bridge Lane is bigger, and they want to own all of our properties, especially the Atwood books. Rita hopes to give them an ending. But there is an ending, just no one's found it yet. Bridge Lane isn't very patient. They're bringing in a ghostwriter to make one up. They can't do that. Wait, are they taking Grant and staff with them? It's hot in here. Has it gotten really hot in here? Are you hot? Jeffrey, what do we do? Pray for a miracle. Thank you. And he looked me in the eyes and he said, Lee, 
Give a man a fish, and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, and he'll sit on a boat and drink all day. <laughs> hey, thank hey, you so much. Hey, you, right? Always a pleasure. Right. Thank you. So some of the same jokes, huh? Get some every time. <laughs> Please tell me that coffee's for me. Double shot, double whip, double chocolate. See, whoever said making your best friend your personal assistant slash manager wasn't a thirsty man. <laughs> so what's the word on the Western? It's not going our way. That is the third project. I know. Breaking out of the mold is a lot harder than I thought it would be. People love you in action. And the numbers for flight risk show that. Look, and global projections. Look at that. Is this what you've been doing when you're missing guys night? I like bocce ball, but I just like this more. Maybe I send my own project to the studios for a change. Wait, you got a script I don't know about? Doesn't have to be a script. Could be a good idea. Or a book. That's a thing, right? I haven't read good books since I was a kid. We work too much. Maybe it's time we work differently. Show people I can do more than jump out of airplanes. I can't jump out of airplanes. Technically, neither can I. But I fake it pretty well. That you do. Please tell me that was the last interview. Yes, it was. This is my least favorite part of the job. I know it is. But I'm setting up calls right now. Maybe we can get in early on a list of bestsellers, find some new IP. But not just any IP, something everyone can connect with. Hmm. And if I do this, I want to do it my way. Let's get you a producer credit. All right, let's go back to the hotel, and I'll manage the fans. Don't worry. Thank you. Sounds great. I'm on my way. Hi. What are you? Just. What are you? Okay, that's enough. You know, you should really ask before you use someone as a human shield. It's much more polite. Fair. Maybe next time you should look where you're walking. It keeps you from running into people. I'm pretty sure it was the other way around. Now, do you mind? Mm -hmm. You're standing on my. Oh. What's this? Hot sauce. <gasps> okay. Who carries around a bottle of hot sauce around in their bag? People who like hot sauce, it comes in handy. Who tries a random bottle of things that falls on the ground? Hey, coast is clear. Finally, I'm on fire right now. No thanks to, to... Becca, and I'm late to dinner, no thanks to... Lee. I know who you are, and now I can tell the world you can't handle your hot sauce. I can handle my hot sauce just fine. Thank you. We gotta go, come on. So you met Lee Price and you gave him a hot sauce? Who are you? He tried it on his own accord. Oh, sounds a little bit juicy. Should I space spicy? Dad! <laughs> nice one, babe. <laughs> okay, tell me more. What did he smell like? Your parents are crazy, you know that, Hayden? Then why did he smell like? Not you, too. He has to miss movies. <laughs> Speaking of, no movies tonight unless we get these dishes done. Grab your uh, plate. Uh. Thank you. It's for dinner. You got it. <laughs> well, I spent my day listening to the new kids' movie soundtrack on repeat, so I'm jealous. Don't be, because I also learned today that Granton might sell, and if they do, I'll be out of a job. Hold up, Granton's closing? Looks like it. So I need to look for a job elsewhere. As a junior editor? Yeah, what else would I do? Write your own book? You're a writer, Beck. That's who you are. I haven't written anything in so long. Well, maybe if you spent less time pining after other people's books, you'd have time to write the first Becca Craven. <sighs> Oh, Jeffrey, your normal acupuncturist. Put a pin in that and get excited, because Granton may still have a shot. 
Come with me. You're not gonna believe this. Well, my day just got more interesting. What are you doing here? And why do you have my book? Technically, you left that behind. Only because you knocked it out of my hands. You two have met? More like collided, and now I can assume you're following me. Welcome to my life. Jeffrey, what's going on? <clears throat> Mr. Price wants to adapt the Lover's Quest series into movies for him to star in. And produce. Working on a pitch to send over to the studio. Just need Grant to give me the rides first. You want to let the Atwood books be turned into movies? No offense. Of course not. But this may be enough to sway the board from selling. Look, it's either this or Bridge Lane gets the Atwood books. It's the lesser of two evils. Oh, no offense. But why the Lover's Quest books? Aren't you like a action-y guy? I'm trying to change that, which is why I want to make these. When you left this behind, I remembered how much I loved these books growing up and how I would love to bring them to the big screen. Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, Mr. Price, but we only have the rights to the books. The film rights, that involves the Atwood estate, specifically Robert Atwood's brother, Fred, and he definitely does not. Jeffrey already filled me in. He's gonna connect us. <laughs> That's impossible. Fred Atwood doesn't have a phone. Becca? Or an email. Becca. Or even a P.O. box. If you want to talk to him, you're gonna have to go to... Arcania. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? You both are. We wanted a miracle, Becca. We just got it. Lee needs a grant rep to travel with him. Nobody knows the Atwoods like you do. I'll stay here and man the ship. You want me to go with him to Arcania? Arcania. Yes. Is she all right? Becca, if you pull this off, you could save Grant. I know it's a shot in the dark, but it's, it's the best shot we got. What do you say? I have to find my passport. Hey, she showed up. She was always gonna show up. She just can't quite believe this is actually happening. Becca, this is Colin, my right-hand man. He's coming with us to get the studio pitched together. And don't worry, if he gives you any trouble, I never met him. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever been to Arcania before? I've never been out of the country before. Well, lucky for you, you're accompanied by one well-seasoned traveler. Do you always describe yourself like a piece of steak? So she's funny, too. She's just full of surprises. Sometimes I surprise people, too. <clears throat> what? Like I said, I'm all seasoned. Ready for departure. All right, the Atwood b, b host should be picking us up right about now. Hey, you must be Colin. I'm Naomi. We spoke on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, let me help you with that. Thanks. How was the flight? It was pretty. It was pretty good. The flight was pretty good. Love to hear it. Now, who's ready to see Arcania? All right, hop in the truck. Should we put these back here? Yeah, you should be good. Here, I got it.
I'm so happy to meet you, Miss Atwood. Oh, please, call me Naomi. Miss Atwood was my great aunt. I, I can't wait to hear your stories. Get my grandpa Fred to open up, and he's the one with the fun stories. Lee, I've been meaning to ask, how are you going to approach the film with him? Don't worry. I'm going to go in, feel out his vibe, and bring up the right somewhere in between. His vibe? We flew all the way out here for a vibe. Hold on. I'm also going to talk about my vision as a producer. Oh, great. And what's that? Still figuring that part out. This one. Here. Oh, you can leave the suitcase. They'll take care of it. Leave. You know, I'll take my bag. Here you go. Beautiful, Thank right? You. This way. Wow. Hosting a party? If so, Colin makes some mean DJ. It's all for the Atwood Festival. I throw a little party every year. If you're still here next week, I'll take you up on that DJing. <laughs> this was Roger and Lily's favorite view. They even got married right here. You can see why. Oh, we call that character around here. If you don't mind, I'll save the best for us. Character. <laughs> it's just like it is in the pictures. To think that they wrote the books right here. When the family decided to convert the place to a and b we chose to leave the library untouched. It just felt right. Naomi, I hope you don't mind me asking, but what do you think of the lost book? Isn't that just a legend? My family never discovered anything, but it doesn't mean it couldn't still be out there. My grandpa Fred, though, he's definitely on the fence about it all. You'll see tomorrow. What should we do until then? Relax and enjoy Arcania. Don't have to tell me twice. Okay, Dad. We're here. We made it. Now, where's that book? I'm sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. I was gonna head in, anyway. Actor, producer, photographer. You really do it all. I like a challenge. Are you ready to take on a world-famous book series? Book fans are pretty temperamental. So are movie fans. What's that you got there? Oh, it's, um... Say no more. Privacy. No one gets that more than me. It's just a long story. Well, you should tell it to me sometime. I like long stories. I'm I'll gonna... You... <laughs> Night. Night. Now, Grandpa can be a little rough around the edges, but seriously, don't let that intimidate you. Looks like my kind of guy. Hey, Grandpa. I want to introduce you to a few people. This is Lee, Colin, and Becca. Mr. Atwood, it is an honor to meet you. Don't touch that. Yep, sorry. Won't happen again. OK. How's the vibe now? Great. No. No? Grandpa, just give them a chance to tell you a little more. I've heard enough. But Mr. Atwood, this is the perfect opportunity to keep the Atwood stories going. If my brother and sister-in-law wanted to keep it going, they would have written an ending. There is no ending. And without one, no movies. Not technically true. The last book, or rather the lost last book. You mean that legend? Exactly. Don't waste your time on it. I can tell you, it's nothing. But what if there is? 
What if that book is out there and, and we find it for you and we get you your ending? What happens then? <laughs> okay. You find that book? Sure. You can make your movies. Wait, really? It's your time, not mine. Indeed it is. We, we won't let you down. No. Mr. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta say, that was impressive. And shocking. I didn't think he was gonna go for it, but he totally did. Well played. Now tell me, where's the book? I don't know where the book is, but I do have a clue that could lead us to it. A clue? What? <laughs> Are you saying you just wagered the rights based on a clue? Well, it's a really good clue. My dad found this hidden... Colin, site. help me out here. Don't look at me. I don't know anything about this. You know what? You're right. Adventures are for the movies. Let's just throw in the towel and go home. I'm not saying we do that. So you do want to stay now? I want to know if I do stay, I'm not going on a wild goose chase. You're not. Because if that book is here, and I truly think that it is, I'm going to find it. Trust me. Besides, do you have a plan B? One word. So we don't even have a clue, people. We have one word. But that word is also the name of this house. Even better. We have a 5,000 square foot home to search through. Piece of cake. Naomi, didn't you say that this room was the only one left untouched when you renovated? Yes. If the book or anything related to it is in this house, it'd be here. See? It's getting easier by the second. The book is probably right under our noses. We just have to search through this room with a fine-tooth comb. Then we better get started. <sighs> and Fred's having you do this? He said if we want the rights, it's the only way. Well, if anyone can find that book, it's you. I guess I'm just gonna have to convince the board to wait a little bit to sign. Really? Jeffrey, thank you. I, I won't let you down. I, I know it sounds crazy. Crazy enough that it might just work. <sighs> okay, team, what do we got? I searched the desk, nothing. I found this bird box. Two birds, one stone. I like the outward sense of humor. Can we focus, please? If we do, we're bound to find something in no time. Peter Piper. Sam Piper, but I feel you. I think it's time to hit the hay. Yeah, same. I'm fading fast. You guys go, I'll be in soon. Really? I'm fine, I'll, I'll be done soon. Okay. <sighs> Two birds, one stone. That is pretty funny. Oh my gosh, it's a double meaning. It's a... You guys! Two birds, one stone! And she's cracked. No! What if cracked is the clue? It's two! Okay, this house is the sandpiper, right? Those birds are also sandpipers. This picture is literally two birds, one stone. It's a double meaning. The Atwoods use them in their books all the time. Okay, just take the picture down. Okay, careful, careful. Okay. What? Okay, okay, we're right, we're right over here. You guys, I think I see something. A message or a poem. Becca, I think you should read this. To you who finds this poem, you're on our very trail. To find our greatest treasure, our own holy grail. I can't believe this. One final adventure, one that's fully ours, and much like love, it's written in the stars. Man, they're good. <laughs> Your journey will continue on a path not for the meek, 
Venture there when the sun first gives a peak. This is unbelievable. Sounds like they, they want us to continue on a, a path of some sort. Hey, look at that. They used the wrong word for peak. Nice catch. Thanks. So what else reaches a peak? The moon, a mountain? Peak, peak. Paradise Peak. It's the hiking trail where, where Robert and Lily met. Yes, brilliant, Naomi. <laughs> so we have to get there before the, the sun first gives a peak. Um. Sunrise. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just kind of hard to contain this enthusiasm. I hope you're just as enthusiastic tomorrow. It'll be an early start. <sighs> Look at that, Econoparpus erectus, also known as a buttonwood. I played a tree professor in Forest Fire 4. It's quiet today. It was. <laughs> Experts. What? Colin! You should go with Lee. You guys should get some, some guy time. No way, Sparky. I need my Atwood expert. Besides, I gotta stay back at the house for a finance meeting. Oh. Naomi? Sorry, Becca, but my to-do list is calling. But have fun. Oh, and make sure you take the north side trail on your way back. Got it? Yeah? Cool. Uh, okay. I can do this. You can hike and stuff. Hike. Slow down. That way. Do this? Yes, you can. You just have to take the first step. But I'm I'm on dry ground right now. This this ground is my friend. And right now I'm your friend too. You just have to trust me. <laughs> Didn't you say Robert and Lily first met here? Yeah, if we're being specific, they met on the trail. Robert was lost and Lily helped them. You really are a walking at one encyclopedia. Should have met my dad. He was the real expert. He died last year, but he would have loved this. I'm really sorry, Becca. I know what it's like. I lost my mom a couple years ago. Sorry, too. Don't be. Be happy. You made it. We made it? <sighs> we made it! <sighs> you don't see that every day. Did you bring the map? Nice. OK. If that was town, and this is Paradise Peak, then that must be... That's Castaway Lagoon. That's where Robert and Lily first said I love you. Lily told the story in her biography. So if that's where they first said I love you, and this is where they first met, it feels a little more than coincidence. It does, doesn't it? Let me see the poem. One final adventure, one that's fully ours. Becca. I don't think this is just any trail. This is their trail, their own lover's quest. Wait, so you're saying that each point on the trail will represent a different part of their relationship? Exactly what I'm saying. That is classic, Atwood. Well done. I bet the next clue is at Castaway Lagoon. Do you think we can make it there today? You're just living life on the edge. Follow me.
Be careful. Tablets don't exactly tan very well. <laughs> Your connection's not working? Not really. I'm trying to set up a virtual meeting with the Arcania Chamber of Commerce, but I can't seem to get through to them. For what? Going over the budget for what it would be like to film on the island. Now, that would be exciting. Yeah. The only problem is I heard they don't do virtual meetings. Oh, what do they do? In person. Oh. Hi, Naomi Atwood, Arcania Chamber of Commerce Council member. You want to get started? It's a small island, OK? We got to wear a lot of hats. All right, then, Miss Commerce Woman, where do we begin? Uh, can I interest you in hearing about Arcania tax incentives? Oh, you had me at incentives. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> We are definitely going the right way, yeah. Mm-hmm. Lee, just say it. Out loud. I I'm not going to say it because we are definitely not lost. Great. I can see the headline now. Lee Price goes missing on Paradise Peak with female friend. Don't worry. Colin will make sure they at least get your first name. Hey. Hi. Hi. Take it you guys took the South Trail. An unexpected detour, but life's full of them. Am I right? Sometime. We're staying all the way on the other side of the island, so we're definitely lost. Oh, OK. Elijah. So you're the two looking for the Atwood book, aren't you? How'd you know? Small island. It's not every day someone gets in to speak with Fred Atwood. You know, the man pretty much stays on his boat since his brother passed, you know? Sort of a recluse. That's uh, one word to describe it. So, so not every day we get a celebrity around here. You want a picture? Not really. <laughs> now, how can I help you two? D do you have some Wi-Fi we could connect to to make a call? Absolutely, yeah, come on. <sighs> you go right this way. Thank you. So the book is real. You're now trying to find it, and you get to do all this with Lee? Oh, is he as charming as he seems? He's growing on me. Then get off the phone with me and go find him. You never know what could happen in paradise. See ya. I'm kidding. But keep having fun. I love you so much. I love you too. Colin is on his way. <sighs> Thank goodness. Is that your sister? Yeah, we're really close. Do you have any siblings? No, it was just my mom and I growing up. Don't tell me you were one of those child actors. My mom would never let that play. I actually stumbled into acting. How does one stumble into acting? I moved out to Hollywood to direct. Started booking roles to make a buck. My mom got sick, so I stuck with it. We would actually read the Atwood books together when she was in the hospital. Is that why you want to make the films for her? That, and also, uh, who knows, maybe I want to get you to watch one of my films. I have seen some of your films. I have a six-year-old nephew. Oh, so really? My sister's kid. So you're a fan. Do you want a picture? Definitely not. Ouch. <laughs> I checked it twice in one day. <laughs> Saved by the hunk. Yeah. <clears throat> You're on me. <laughs> Great work today. It's actually kind of a lot of fun, especially finding that clue. So, Castaway Lagoon first thing tomorrow? Yes. But this time, you leave.
Need a hand? Oh, you have impeccable timing. The party's in a few days, and I'm down to the wire. Well, you're handling it masterfully. Here. I saw Elijah in town this morning. I take it you took the South Trail? Not intentionally. My feet are very grateful for Elijah. <laughs> well, Elijah's the best. My grandpa and I used to get pineapples from his farm every week. You don't anymore? Grandpa stopped doing a lot after Robert and Lily passed. I've tried to get him out more, but as you saw, he's pretty stubborn. I think in some ways he's still holding on to what he lost. I'd be lying if I didn't say, I hope if you find the book, it changes that. When we find the book. When? And then maybe we can all take a page from it for our own inspiration. <laughs> you seem pretty inspired to me. You're essentially living the island dream life. I mean, I am, but we all have our own dreams, you know? I spend a lot of time taking care of my grandpa and the estate. Seems like it's your turn to be taken care of. And you? What do you want that needs inspiring? Oh, Naomi, that is the question of a lifetime. <laughs> all right, the gear is all packed. You guys coming with? Yeah, Becca is. Colin's got a meeting with a city planner. How did you know that? Another hat. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. This is incredible. Here, watch your step. Wow. You coming? After you. After me? You're the adventure, man. And now it's time for you to shine. I think it's only fair. Lee Price, you... You are scared to go into the water, aren't you? No. I'm, I'm afraid of bats. Bats? Yes. <laughs> it's not funny. Have you ever seen one in real life? I played a vampire once, and those little critters were terrifying. OK. Well, I can almost certainly promise you that we're not going to see any bats. But if we do, I will protect you, OK? Yeah, I promise that. Can we focus? We are on their lover's quest. So we're looking for anything that could represent their relationship. Got it. Got it. OK. Let's go. I wonder if Naomi and Colin are having this much fun. I have a feeling they're doing just fine. Got it? You know, when you said meeting, I was thinking more of an office. When you wear as many hats as I do, you get really good at multitasking. Whoa. Ugh. <laughs> How long do you think that's been there? <laughs> I think that answers your question. Um. Hmm. Okay, you're like actually really good. Uh, thank you. This was my instrument of choice growing up. Hmm. For half of the sixth grade, anyways. <laughs> okay, I'll keep playing. I'll add some words. Okay. <laughs> um. Walking on the beach, cleaning up trash. Watch out for the waves, they're gonna crash. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> Wondering when the song will end. Uh, but singing's always better. When you're making new friends. I like it. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> OK. Anything? Uh, no bats and no clue. Are we missing something? This is where the owl said, I love you. Right? Out loud. To each other. I love you! What are you doing? Do you hear that? It's echoing deeper from over here. OK, yell again. Uh, bubble! Dumb! Over here. Hey, what's that? We just discovered buried treasure. 
feels like it. What is this thing? Uh, sparkly blue limestone. <laughs> Sounds visual. It's the best I got. Okay. Blue limestone. Blue lime stone past away lagoon. Are you warming up for a Broadway show? I'm just trying things. You know they love wordplay. Wait, you don't think they left another poem, do you? Because if they did, it would have to be pretty indestructible. No. They wouldn't repeat a clue. So what would they do? Oh, my brain is waterlogged. Hey, this just needs more research, more digging, but maybe not anymore today. Is this a dead end? Dead end? We found all this. This is just the beginning. Bubble gum? Really? Told you it comes in handy. I honestly can't remember the last time I sat at a normal restaurant having a normal conversation with a normal girl. No, I, I didn't mean it. It's okay. I get it. You're like a fish in a fishbowl. You have eyes on you all the time. Exactly. Does it get old after a while being famous? Of course, but there's nothing worse than a celebrity complaining about being a celebrity. So just stick to gratitude. <laughs> Still, you said yourself that you wanted to be a director at first, so you thought you were signing yourself up for something else. And the selfies, the fans, that, that all must make it hard to have relationships. It can. People think they know you when they don't, but It makes it hard to do a lot of things. Enough of the Lee Price show. I want to know about Becca Craven. Um, there's there's not much to know. I'm I'm a junior editor for Granton, and I I try to find new exciting stories. Because you want to be an editor, that's the goal. Um, no, I I write. All right, I I want to be a writer. What's holding you back? That much? Do you remember what it was like the first time you were on set? What that felt like? It was terrifying. Exactly. It's it's really scary putting yourself out there like that. And my dad was my biggest fan. And when he passed, I, I don't know, it, it got scarier. And easier finding someone else's story than writing your own. My friends. So how's the hunt coming? It's, it's com coming. <laughs> you know, if you need help, you're in the right place. Most people here knew the Atwoods well. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Now, you take Mabel over there. She was their neighbor for years, right? And Nathaniel, he ran Mr. Atwood's favorite bakery. Patty. She and Lily were Jen Rummy rivals, right? To one day they tied, but then they decided never to settle the school. <laughs> you have quite the crew here. Oh, come on now. Wait till you see us on the dance floor. <laughs> Play it on and get a little, you put a little music on the thing right here. You... Yeah. Oh, come on in, come on in. Come on, Patty, me and you. Me and you, Patty. All right now. Yeah. What do you say? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
<laughs> oh, they're alive. Oh, barely. What do you guys got here? I'm thinking of adding an Atwood history section to the pitch, and Naomi brought these photos down. Yeah, found some winners, too. Look how young they were here. Oh, what's, what's the date on that one? July 20th, 1964. I think they were still in high school here. And Robert still had all his hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it's bedtime for me. Colin, do you want to finish these tomorrow? You got it. Same here. Oh, gonna hit the head. Big day tomorrow. What's going on there? Nothing. She's just helping me with the pitch. Right, right. Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. It's just nice to see you enjoying yourself. You think they're talking about us? Oh, they're definitely talking. The question is, do we want them to be? Find out. <laughs> All right, it's time for bed. Good night. I think I might have found something. The blue stone we saw, it's called calcite, formed from the weathering of limestone. Apparently, blue color is very rare. Interesting. Anything specifically related to the Atwoods? I haven't found anything yet, but I think it's worth asking around. How's it coming with you? I found a lagoon mentioned in volume four, Pirate Hideout, but if we're on their lover's trail, don't you think the next clue would have something to do with the Atwood's own journey? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Then the answer has to be in their lover's trail itself. What was next for the Atwoods? You're talking about going through a relationship that's decades long. It could be anything. Their first date, their first breakup, their first haircut, I, I don't know. How about you follow your stone lead and we reconvene later, see who's right. I like that challenge. I think it works. Hey, there guys. Hey. Becca, we didn't know you were still here. Got that next clue? Hoping too soon. Hmm. Lee's following the lead, and I'm, I'm regrouping. Hmm. Um, want to regroup over tiki torches? I have a call with Lee's agent. The word's getting out about the adaptation, and press is buzzing. Tell them thanks for the added pressure. You got it. What am I doing? Grabbing this. Becca, I'm at the Tiki Torches. What is this? An engagement ring? Wait, what? Oh, ha. no, not for me. This actually belonged to Lily. Roger had it made for her. It's calcite from the island. Gorgeous, right? The engagement, of course. I'm lost. And I was right, on the trail. I... The Robinson Alley. Th that's where Roger and Lily got engaged, right? Uh, I think so. I wasn't quite alive yet. So calcite was the clue. Ugh which means Lee was right. Where's the closest entrance to the alley? Uh, pretty sure it's down Main Street. Becca, what about the tiki torches? Cow sounds.
Can I help you with anything? Just trying to learn more about this stuff. Ah, uh, calcite. Yeah, used to be worth a pretty penny. It was actually our biggest export in the 18th and 19th centuries, used primarily for glass making. Hmm. I read it's used to make jewelry, too. Sure, it can be used for that. Because of the calcite boom, many merchants actually built tunnels underneath the island for trading purposes. Are any still around? Ah, uh, no. They've all been destroyed. But there is still an alley um, called the Robinson Alley. It's not used for trading purposes, of course. It's actually more of a tradition. How so? Well, when couples fall in love on the island, many of them will walk down the alley and write their name on one of the rocks. Thought being that if the alley has survived all these years, their love will survive too. Where'd you say this alley is again? Mm -hmm. If I was Robinson Alley, I would be where? Right. Can't admit that. You were not. Oh. I was right. How did you figure out how to get here? It's where the Atwoods got engaged. Robert used calcite from the lagoon for the ring. Naomi still has it. So technically, you're right on the money, too. This is a stop along their lover's trail. Mm -hmm. Well, according to the map, it should be right around the. <sighs> Becca, what are you doing? Don't look now, but it is Rita Daly from Bridge Lane Publishing. The one who's trying to buy Grant? Uh huh. What did you say? Don't worry, she didn't see me. Oh, Mr. Price! Okay, she definitely saw me. We have to make a break for it. Come on. Oh. Why are we running? I don't know, I panicked. What is she doing here? Do you think she knows that we're looking for the book? She can't find out how close we are. Okay, then let's avoid her by going this way. Um. Technically not breaking any rules. Price, are you out here? I just want to talk. Well, that was close. Lee, if she beats us, that don't book. worry, she won't. There's no way she can out Atwood my Atwood expert. Besides, she walked right past that without thank coming in. We've got to go before she figures it out. A lot of love on one small island. <laughs> this one's Margaret Turner and Philip Lewis. Says they were from two opposite political parties and got married in secret. A real life Romeo and Juliet. <sighs> Lee. Lily and Robert Atwood. Lovers of Arcania, lovers of writing, lovers of life. They stood right here, years ago. Wait a second. The mortar looks broken in several places. It's almost if you would just... Don't! Would you look at that? trick in the book. Wait a second. I'm not gonna fall for it again. No, there's something back here. <laughs> let's, let's get out of here. We're in the clear. And we have a key. We have a key that they hid. 
Look, it has these numbers on it. What do you think those mean? Could be anything, but I'm sure whatever it is, we're going to find out soon enough. Lee, do you think that the Atwoods would be happy that it's us who finds the book? I think the Atwoods are up there right now saying to themselves, man, that Becca Craven is something special. If there's anyone who deserves to find our book, it's her. You know who's up there agreeing with them? Your dad. I think it's safe to say he'd be pretty happy for you. For us. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It is. You should get that. Yes. Hey, Jeffrey. What? Wait, slow down, slow down. You and the board are now coming here? Yeah, Bridge got wind of the movie rights, and naturally, they want to expedite the sale. So now, their offer expires the night of the festival. Oh, the night of the festival? Board figured that they would show up and either sign with Bridge or sign with Fred. And what better place to decide the fate of the Atwoods' future than... Not their own party. There is just one more thing. Rita Daly. Oh, we had our own run-in with her today. What do you think she wants? My guess is she knows the films are our last hope, and I am sure she will do whatever she can to stop them. The festival's in a few days, so we find the book by then, or...? Granton's toast. Look, Becca, I tried to buy you more time. I really did, please. Tell me you're close. We definitely are. I just, I hope it's close enough. The festival is in T-minus three days and counting. Three days to find the book, three days to save Granton, and three days to throw Rita Daly so far off our trail that she has to swim back home. And this key is key to all of that. I see what you did there. Thank you. Now, who's with me, team? Because it's showtime. I have to go to next, right? I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Never seen it before. Look, Mr. Atwood, we're getting close to finding this book. Really close. We're just... We're running out of time here. I said, no book, no movie rights. But the book is out there. I don't see it. I'll believe it when I do. Until then, I'm not signing over the rights without an ending to their story. But what about their legacy? What about continuing it? If my brother and sister-in-law wanted their legacy to continue, they would have published that last book. They didn't. Their legacy died with them. 
Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Mr. Lord. Are you kidding? Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's give him a bit. I, I think we all need to cool down. <sighs> Colin, have you heard anything from the studio? Maybe we get them involved personally? They haven't got back to me about the pitch yet. And I, and I hate to add fuel to the fire, but they nixed your producer credit. They're happy to have you star, they just don't want too many cooks in the kitchen. Direct quote. Are they crazy? They're lucky that you're even bringing them the books in the first place. I haven't brought them anything yet. And even if I did, no producer credit, no creative control. Then we go to another studio and demand they give you a say. Still need the rights to do any of that. I can't believe this. Naomi, what do you think Fred needs to see? How do we prove to him that this book is real? It's out there. I don't think this has to do with the book. I'm realizing now it might never happen. What do you mean? Maybe my grandpa's right. Maybe their legacy did end with them. That's impossible. People discover the Atwood books every day. They share them with their families. Their legacy is alive, especially on this island. Fred has just forgotten. And maybe we need to remind him, show him that the legacy never ended, that it's still needed. But how? Actually, I think I might have an idea. You sure you're up for this? You got another plan B? Gang's all here. Okay, time to let your vision shine. All right, Mabel, take a seat. You're up first. It's great. Just cut out that last bit and then film your section and it's finished. Oh, well, I'll splice it together and see where my part fits in. I gotta go help Naomi. Mind if I leave you to it? Get out of here, kid. <laughs> You are a difficult man to track down, Mr. Price. Rita Daly, senior vice president. Bridge Lane Publishing. I love it when my reputation precedes me. I've been running around for a few days trying to talk to you, but I have to say, it feels like the whole island is trying to keep us apart. Really, I can't imagine why. The word on the street is you're trying to secure movie rights for the Atwood books. Word travels fast. I also know you're on the search for something more. It's my understanding that the acquisition of the rights from Fred might halt the sale of Granton. Nothing is set in stone, but as far as I can tell, the board members are open to it. That's good news. Not for me, it isn't. Let me cut to the chase, Mr. Price. I want you to strike a deal with us. Confirm that if we secure the rights, you will make the movies with Bridge. And why would I do that? Because you know as well as I do that Granton is as good as gone and it's in both our interests to make this deal. The faster Bridge takes over Granton, the faster you get your movies made. They're not my movies yet. Right now, they're still the Atwood stories, and the Atwoods have a deal with Granton that I plan to respect. But that deal will be ours in a few days' time. What will you do then? Did you finish? Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Fingers crossed it works. So hey, there's... Can I show you? Oh, you go. No, after you. OK, I'll go. Um, what I'm about to show you is in the very preliminary stages. It's, that's too nice a word for it. It's green, rough, Back even. Beckett Craven it's spit it out. My novel. Your novel? Oh, you can't actually see it. Why, why not? It's, that's bad luck. What? Who says? Someone. Somewhere, I'm sure. Plus, it's, there's not much to see now. Anyway, it's just the beginning of something. But it's something. And I wanted to tell you, you, you can keep me accountable. Becca, I couldn't be happier for you. Well, you, this whole experience has inspired me. For my novel, I mean. 
Of course, we are in paradise after all. Exactly. What were you going to say? Just that uh, I'm feeling pretty wiped after uh, filming all day. Probably going to get to bed. Same. Big day tomorrow. I want to take another pass through the house with the key. If you want to join, I'd love your eyes on all of this again. Are you okay? Now you seem like you've seen a ghost. Yeah, I'm fine. Beige or coral? Becca? Becca. Sorry. Um, both. Everything okay? Yeah, it's just Lee. He seemed like he had something on his mind. Did you ask? I, I didn't want to press. I mean, I could take a guess. Okay, the party's tomorrow. Everything you both have worked for will come to a head, and then you go back home, back to reality. I hadn't really thought about that. Yeah, and maybe he's not ready to let go. Maybe he likes what he found here, or who he found here. Oh, I don't think that guy. I know he might be an actor, but I don't think he's acting around you. That's the thing. How, how do I know? You ask. I know it's scary, but you got to put yourself out there. Take a chance. Are you there? Really use your help today. You knew, Dad. Three hours and counting till the party, right? Your fan club is cheering you on. Papa Cupid's is falling down, falling down, cause my aunt Becca. You are so talented, Hayden. That's got quite the ring to it. <coughs> you had a little help? Thank you, Trevor. I'm hoping for the best. The book is still MIA, but Lee and I put together a little something special to hopefully sway Fred. Well, how is Mr. Price? He's fine, I think. Him and Colin have been finding a new studio just in case we get the film rights. Hey, ask him how he gets his hair like that. We saw a flight risk the other night, and it literally never stopped flowing. I'll ask him. OK, Fabio, show me around. Incredible, huh? Everything okay? Yeah, it's it's something Dad wrote. I haven't seen it in a while. It's it's an old journal entry. Read it to me. Becca and Gia took turns reading out loud. They're both getting so good. I wonder, have I done enough? What parts of me will leave an impact? Only the good, I hope. But even more so, the wish of any parent is that their child grows up to impact others. What use is any talent or trait in this world if it can't be shared? I know he really was a writer. He was. Hey, Becca. He'd be really proud of you. Thanks, Gia. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. I thought we had all the flowers covered. These aren't for the party. They're for you. Someone just dropped them off at the door. Oh, wonder who they're from. I'm off. Colin wants to get drinks before everyone arrives. Oh, taking a chance, are we? I might be. I mean, he deserves one, right? You do, too. Don't get mad if I send Lee in here. He should see you before everyone else does. You are a vision. Don't you dare. Too late.
Glee. Happy we finally got to sit down and talk. Bridge Lane is excited about working together and giving your adaptations a new home. Best Rita. Naomi said you wanted to see me. Wow, you look amazing. <laughs> and upset, what's going on? Can you tell me? Is that true? Did you meet with Rita? You don't understand. Did you talk to her about making the films with Bridge Lane? You struck a deal with Bridge Lane so that you get to make your films no matter what. Are you really gonna believe that after all the time we spent together? I, I didn't strike any deal with her. That's not what Rita thinks. I don't care what Rita thinks. I only care what you think. You're just like everybody else, thinking they know me when they don't. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, you're right. I, I don't know anything about Becca, you. Becca, please. Becca, how you doing? You good? Oh, you all right? Yeah, it's good, good to, to see, see you. you. All right. Enjoy the party. All right. Wow. Becca! What's wrong? I'm fine. It's fine. Yeah, your acting isn't exactly convincing. Okay, I'm not fine. Lee's not who I thought he was. He surprised me, but in all the wrong ways. What happened? He lied to me, Naomi. He lied to us. And after everything that we worked for, it was all an act. If it was, he put on a great show, especially when it came to falling for you. Trust me, he did not. Beck, I don't know what Lee did, but I know he cares about you. And I think you care enough about him to give him an opportunity to say sorry. I can't, Naomi. Yes, you can. You just have to take a chance. Fred, you made it. It's really good to see you. You too, Elijah. Grandpa. Hi, Stop. Everyone is so excited to see you. People have been asking about you all day. Well, if it's all right, I i like to fly under the radar today. Just promise me you'll try to keep an open mind. There she is, my saving grace. Jeffrey, I've never been so happy to see you. <laughs> you wear sun-kissed well. <laughs> so, how does it feel to be the woman of the hour? Hardly call myself that. Well, everyone else is. I came in a little bit ago, got acquainted with locals. You and Lee have left some impression on them. Wasn't enough. We didn't find the book. But we are hoping we can convince Fred in one other way. I don't know how he can't be convinced. Is with the party looking this good? How's the board feeling? Only time will tell. The only thing that you can do right now, thank you, is enjoy yourself. Hey, how did it go with Becca? Becca assumed the worst. Oh, is that what this is about? Her assuming the worst? Okay, let me ask you something. Uh, did you ever give her a chance not to? I mean, yeah, I tried to tell her about the meeting, right? But you didn't, and why not? Because I was scared how she'd react. Oh, so you assumed the worst in her, too. And I was right. She blew up on me. Because you didn't give her a chance to do otherwise. Lee, I'm your best friend. And I do know the real you, and I know that you're scared of letting someone in and getting hurt. And if you're scared, just imagine how scared she must be. When did you get so poignant? When you were getting all the girls. Let's go.
My goodness. Seeing you all here today is amazing. What you're about to see was made by two very special people who have a deep love for the Atwoods and continuing their legacy. They wanted to show how many hearts have been affected by the Lover's Quest books in hopes of swaying one heart here today. What do the Atwoods mean to me? How do you describe people that shaped an island? Oh, we can tell you, but we also want to show you. Hello? Yeah, hold one moment, please. Dude, I got the studio on the line. They want to talk. You got to take this. Right now? You got to go. How did the Atwoods impact your life? The Atwoods impacted my life when I met one of their fans. This fan is a dreamer like them. Why are you filming me? It's just crazy how much he knew. Look, see? He had pictures of Paradise Peak. Oh, and I'll, I'll show you where he um, found the cipher. Okay, so here's the cipher, right? And no other reader had found it. And I'll show you where, see? This was a tiny picture in the book. Pretty cool. And now we're here. <laughs> He's really got some vision. You both do. And now I can see what he was fighting for all along. What do you mean? It must take something or someone very special for a man of his success to turn down a lucrative offer like the one I presented. Not the smartest move in my opinion, but I guess it was worth it for him. But you sent the flowers, the card. A, a final attempt at persuading. Fake it till you make it, right? Except with Lee Price. He's the real deal. An adventurer a true friend just like they were. And it's infectious. That kind of impact can heal people. It can help you let go of hard times. And in the end, open you up to love. Oh, thank you. Hey. Have you seen Lee? No, no, not in a while. Becca. What you and Lee did, that video, I never knew. Or I did, and I just chose not to see that their legacy is still very much alive. It is, Fred. I want it to continue with you and Lee at the helm. The rights are yours. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you, Fred. I know what my brother would say. He'd want you to have them. They were good people. The best people. The world needs to remember that. Always. Right after this picture was taken, Robert told me he was going to ask Lily to marry him that day. I took it. A year later, they were married on that very same spot. Look. Of course. They were married in the gazebo. We have all the time in the world. Jeffrey! What? We did? Yeah. Where are you going? To get our ending. Okay. It's not over till it's over, right? Right. Don't let the board sign. Stall. Mind if I join?
What are you doing out here? It's a long story. I love long stories. Well, this one is about a guy who meets a girl in an alley. Rather, runs into a girl in an alley. Sounds like the perfect meet cue. It is. Except he accidentally knocks everything out of her bag, including her favorite book. How rude. It was. So he spends the rest of his time with her making up for it, and it is an uphill battle. Worth the climb? Oh, without a doubt. How does it end? He falls for her. Her smile, her laugh, the way she furrows her brow when she's thinking, <laughs> or when she's hiking, sometimes it's hard to tell. And he knows his life wouldn't be the same without her. He doesn't want it to be. I'm so sorry, Becca. I'm sorry, too. I thought the worst things. I said the worst things. You're a good man, Lee. You are certainly not like everyone else. Far from it. I'm normal. Thank God. Stink stop. Wait a second. Wait. Um. Should I? Open it. For you, Becca. No. It's for us. To our biggest fan, congratulations. There was no greater adventure than the story of our love. And we hope this journey inspires you to find your own. Love Lily and Robert. P.S. Enjoy the read. We have to tell Jeffrey. We're saving Grant. Wait, wait. wait. She just went into the library with the board members and made up. I'm so sorry, Becca, but it looks like they're gonna sign. Not if we can help it. Are you telling me that that's... Yes, it is. What are you waiting for? Go. Yes. Have you signed? Not yet, but... Then it ain't over. What's that? The final Atwood book. The lost one. You found it? Becca did. It was a miracle. What's taking so long? They, they have the book. What is there to discuss? I'm sure they have to talk to lawyers. And not to mention, Rita's probably putting up a huge fight. Rita is not as persuasive as she seems. Oh, well, I guess that should take care of everything then. Rita, it's always a pleasure. Well, it's over. What's with all the sad faces? It's over. Grand's back in business. <gasps> we did it! Thank you. <laughs> we did it! Oh, thank you. Gordon. <sighs> they asked who found it. I told them a new budding author. Write your novel, Becca, because you are going to be published. <sighs> Lee, it's going to be an honor to work alongside you to adapt these books. I look forward to your vision. Before you sign on the dotted line, you should know that the studio called offering me to be a fully-fledged producer. Oh, yes! Lee, congratulations! I told them no. Come again? I realized I don't just want to be a producer on these films. I want to direct them, too. So it looks like I'm starting my own studio. Thinking of calling it Two Birds Films. Granton will be happy to do business with you. Good job, team. So. If you'll excuse me, I've got a few calls to make. Now is really the time to celebrate, especially since you all found the book and you're probably leaving Arcania soon. But we'll be back to film the movies. The location. Right, <laughs> the location. Or maybe you can come back before then, just for fun? Nah. If I'm coming back, I'm coming back for you. After you? What do you say? Should we join them? Yeah. I just have one last thing I need to do. Mr. Atwood? I think I have something that belongs to you. 
Your ending. Did this really happen? Yeah, we did it. We saved the day. I feel like an action star. An action star? I mean, I just spent the last week traversing through the wilderness, lagoon diving, and solving a famous legend. All with the charming love interest by your side. Don't forget Wall Season. Oh, how could I forget? Seems like I'm ready for my next adventure. Any idea what that could be? I think I have a new idea for my book. Oh, really? Yeah. Might even give Robert and Lily a run for their money. Am I allowed to know the story this time? You already do. Ours.